Hello guys and welcome to another episode on the channel. Uh today I'm joined with uh, joined by Rohit and uh, Devashish as we dissect all the circus that Ronaldo has sort of created around him uh, with his interview with Piers Morgan. Uh so this two part interview that came out uh, a couple of days ago like I had the chance to watch the I saw the entirety of the first one and parts of the second and it is you know i have like absolutely no words uh to describe what was going on because firstly like piers morgan definitely you know siding with ronaldo on absolutely everything and mm. ronaldo you know sometimes almost speaking of speaking of himself in the third person and say already establishing saying it like as though it's a fact that he's the greatest of all time But anyway, uh, let's dive right into it. Uh, Rohit, what do you think about the timing of this interview? Like he's played his last game for United, uh, and the international break for the World Cup has begun. So at a time where you know he's not really going to be going back to United anytime soon, what do you think about the timing of this interview? See, first of all, like with Ronaldo telling it right now, doing the interview right now. there was no stopping this interview because he was always going to say something he's not one of those players who just silently you know let the manager say everything let people criticize him and talk about him and then he leave so this is the only window where i think he could have done it does it benefit anybody no it does not benefit united because first he this came off a great win against fulham last minute when where garnacho stole i mean uh, stole uh, stole three points for them and united could have been riding on that high for another one month because they had a really strong end to this Uh, first half of the season, but no. Instead, we're talking about Ronaldo's situation now. See, whatever Ronaldo does, it always suits only Ronaldo. Let's put that straight. Whether it's right or wrong, that's up for debate and discussion. But the timing is obviously according to Ronaldo's convenience. So there was no other better way to, you know, do all this. It was always going to be uh, ugly. Uh, so yeah, the timing is yeah. It's it only suits Ronaldo. Okay. Uh, I think Devashish, what do you think? Like, uh, looking at it from Ronaldo's perspective, what is he trying to? What What do you think he was trying to achieve with uh with this video? Like, what is he trying to gain? Like, what is his end goal through this interview? What do you think? So, what is happening is, uh, football managers also and a few players also now at the highest level, they have to conduct. I don't. I don't think that they have to, but they conduct themselves as politicians. like they literally conduct themselves as politicians everything they say is politically designed everything they say will have a political impact and what is happening is i think in my perspective is ronaldo ronaldo is trying to get a move ronaldo is trying to tell the world how innocent he is and how much the club has has been ter- terrible the only right point in the whole interview he made was about the glazers so the, that that was the only right point about the glazers and the point is he just told people what are his wet so if he told people water is wet doesn't mean that everything else he said now sir suddenly becomes correct you know we know what a water is wet but that doesn't mean everything is now you say has is correct you didn't say anything that we didn't know we knew glazers are the problems and the point is when the legs don't work like they used to the mouth needs to run more <laughs> the point is and nothing against ronaldo i think most of the viewers of this video most of the people know i'm not either a messi fan so i'm not either camp so i'm not of either camp so i'm not a messi neymar or you know, anyone i'm not anyone man. i'm just sunil chetri camp i don't care about any any one of them mm-hmm. so i think i'm unbiased but looking <clears throat> at it from ronaldo ronaldo's perspective as i said they are all politicians at that level they do politically design things and it's i mean i i cannot see i i I'm, i'm struggling to defend him here. as you asked me for his perspective mm-hmm. it's almost like i have to defend him now so i can't mm-hmm. i can't do it because he's, he's he's struggling to accept that his legs have gone man he's struggling to accept the fact that he's not the best anymore Perfect. it's like very difficult to even pick sides because it was first of all a marriage made in hell it was always going to go this way man like bringing ronaldo back at like when he's 36 37 and you know with it being ronaldo who wants to play every single game mm-hmm. even if you know he's not doing the necessities of modern day football so like what do you think cost to like how can united ever you know just some just uh, just adding on to that ronaldo ronaldo mm-hmm. ronaldo in the interview said that this club is driven by marketing this club is all about mm-hmm. marketing and revenue it's not about football and the fact that they have signed a player at that age at that <laughs> ridiculous wage is the perfect example Oh, that explains that they care about marketing. So he is benefiting from something that he is blaming the club for. 
almost like looking in a mirror isn't it yeah uh so i think you know united i think this is uh, i wouldn't i mean uh, i feel like this is sort of like the perfect situation for them like it would have been difficult to justify uh, getting rid of a player of ronaldo stature like i think there's no denying that he is a legend of the game uh, especially at united but it otherwise it would have been really difficult for them to justify to the fans that they're getting rid of a player i do feel like uh, what he mentioned about the about some some people in the hierarchy wanting him out um i think that's true i think uh, united are trying to go in a different direction and ronaldo just doesn't fit ten hag's plans so i think the fact that uh, they are going ahead with legal procedure or trying to sack him for a contract breach i think it's a statement from united that you know they are done messing about and you know it's time for serious business and it doesn't really matter you know who you are or you know how big of a name you may be there's no one who is sort of bigger than the club but that's what ronaldo wants right at the end of the day he just wants to get out of united that's and he wants to get his name clear mm-hmm. but i'd also ask like devesh one more thing so we see a lot of these players in you know this current time talking against their managers coming out and giving interviews we saw that with messi when he came out and you know literally trashed barcelona but obviously that was for different reasons but why do you think this is so different to that or why do you think you know like a lot we've seen a lot of people in recent times come out and talk against their club saying that the club is not up to standards and what not what why do you think this is different so i think this is different because we know united are now going in a different direction this is different because we know that ten hag is the right manager he has beaten liverpool he has beaten arsenal up on over top of top of the league he has done very well i think what players actually do is jose mourinho spoke about this at the bn sports interview that there is a very clear difference between passion and emotion control you know ronaldo walking off the pitch and the ronaldo fc fanboys will tell he's a winner he wants to win that's why he's doing that i have had players doing that when i've had players when my team is struggling i'm anchoring i'm i'm tackling and we lose the game and one of and one of and that player just walks off the pitch two three players have had like walking off the pitch bro we want to win we have the dedication to win you don't have the dedication to win as like okay dedication to win by walking off the pitch so ronaldo has created this mentality that i am the elite winner i am the winner and if the people who behave like me are winners but it's like it's very similar with mourinho 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 said that when klopp does the knee slide it's passion when mourinho does the knee slide it's it's bitter and it's anti football it's park the bus so it's you know it's i can uh, i can uh, you know relate it with that that what ronaldo does is not passion he's unable to control his emotions and at any level point of in your life you should be able to control emotions and especially when you are being viewed and being you know idealized by so many people at that level when you are a political figure and it's different i think because of very similar reason if messi is blaming barcelona i think the only reason barcelona in those final years were doing well was actually because of messi and the thing here is man united without ronaldo have a 70% win ratio i don't like to appreciate messi for anything i don't like to bash ro- 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 ronaldo for anything i don't have love or hatred for either of them but i'm just speaking from an unbiased perspective if i am ten hag if i am a manager of a team which is doing that i want that player out asap because of what next for both ronaldo and united now it's obviously a marriage made in hell that's established it's better yeah. that both separate so I what think, next for ronaldo what next for united i think in a way this interview has come at a good time for united because it gives them time like the next 3 weeks to plan out what they're going to do in january um i feel like ronaldo has played his final game for united and the you know the statements that he made like that the fact that he said with his own words like you know that he does not respect the manager i think like that is absolutely when he made him captain he made him captain exactly, he made exactly. him captain in the recent game he's struggling with a similar thing that actually roy keane struggled with the reason roy keane couldn't be a manager the reason roy keane failed as a manager because as a manager when he, when you were a great player and now you're going go, going into management I, th- i think that's one of the places where actually steven gerrard did well and frank lampard is somewhere in the middle you have to understand that not everyone is as good as you were and mm-hmm. your part and your job is to get them punch above their weight to keep them together steven gerrard did that for 30 years at liverpool get the best out of shit players around you that's why he did well at rangers mm-hmm. roy keane struggled because of that when he made the man he was you have to be on time you have to eat this you have to eat that ronaldo is that discipline 
Sancho and these, you know, Garnacho, these new youngsters have a different way of life. Ronaldo has to accept that the generation is changing. He either has to adapt to that, or if he cannot adapt to that, just accept that. And if you cannot accept that, that's what is happening with him. He cannot accept that. First of all, his legs are gone, and then the players, the young players, have their own way. But when he came, he had his own way. So it's not that you know, just these players are disrespectful to Basim. They have a different way of life, a different culture. That's a very simple thing. That's just generation gap. I just feel like Ronaldo was being just an uncle, you know. Just the fact that he kept mentioning that these people don't respect me, the players don't respect me, and you it's know crazy, the fact man. that they don't. I, I mean, it's just like he's not able to accept the fact that he is not the best player in the team, and he it's not that the entire club is sort of revolving around him. That he's just not able to accept it, and I think it's just that. It was just. They like made a really, really good point there, actually. Like when Ronaldo came in, he was mm-hmm. that youngster. He was different, and the fact that he can't accept that now it just shows how much only he matters to himself. Yeah, like it's the like selfishness is like, you know. Yeah. Yes, I agree that he has achieved great things, and you know he has won pretty much everything that there is to win. But I think this this interview just it it has like. he has ended his own united career i think there is no way he is going to wear on wear the united jersey and play football ever again. but where next for ronaldo no, i man, think that is he the... wants to talk club the summer was the perfect example he wanted to go united were ready to let him go no not any club wanted him. you don't want a 38 year old problem you don't want a problem which is 38 year old who doesn't deliver on the pitch and then also wants 500 grand a week <laughs> Don't want that. If, like, like, if a club of United stature can't handle Ronaldo, I doubt a club like Sporting Lisbon, Lisbon could handle Ronaldo because Ronaldo will literally be like Mbappe is at PSG right now. He'll be calling all the shots. Mm-hmm. He'll want everything running his way. So I don't. I honestly don't know where Ronaldo can go from here. Um, from here. You know, like I was just thinking, just like final thoughts, like you know, Rohit, like before our call, you had mentioned that there is a chance that uh, you know, with uh, Chelsea being one of the big clubs interested for him in the summer. Do you see any chance that in January, when the you know post New Year, when the football, when the you know Chelsea plays again, do you see Ronaldo wearing number seven for Chelsea? See, I may be sensible. I may be sensible. Deushis <laughs> may be sensible. Costa may be sensible. Even though he's wearing an Argentina T-shirt, but let's get things straight. Chelsea has an American owner. He has done stupid things previously, and doesn't. I mean, of course, he has appointed a lot of people in his backroom staff right now who know more football than he does. But they're of course they are looking for that big name, and Ronaldo is exactly that big name. But as a team, Chelsea is going to get absolutely fucked if they go down the Ronaldo route. Tuchel was absolutely right when he said he didn't want Ronaldo. If they go down that route, I would be upset. But what can you do? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Perfect, guys. Uh, I think. Uh... any any final thoughts do you think uh, you know do you think united finally you know they 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 are posturing that they are going to sort of sack him and looking at legal action but do you think they'll have the balls to finally do it because we've seen that you know united have been in the past bullied by players so do you think they will have you know basically the balls to stand up to arguably one of the greatest players of all time Yeah, I think, man. I think because I just think he. I I don't know the specifications of the contract, so I cannot actually say here that if he has mm-hmm. breached it or not. But I think even if they had to like pay him off, pay him off, and just let him go, I think even that option wouldn't be bad because they don't. Let's not say that they don't have the money to do that. If mm-hmm. they have the money to ha- have him, then they also have the money to, you know, get rid of pay him off. And just one thing before I leave, uh, uh, that interview was the perfect example of. A, a world class professional in his profession who is now struggling who cannot accept the fact that he's struggling who cannot fe- accept the fact that the new generation is taking over who is not adaptable and very soon he is going to have a very unfortunate end we didn't want to end it like this but it's ending like this and everything i said go same for cristiano ronaldo, ronaldo as well so i was speaking about the other man in that interview but also the same things go for ronaldo, ronaldo as well <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I think uh, yeah, that's about it for our video. You guys do let us know what do you think about Ronaldo's interview. Was he right? Was he wrong? Do you think United is going to sack him? And finally, where do you think he's going to end up? 
let us know in the comments down below and we will catch you next time bye bye and there will be some people and there will be some people who will actually disagree with you know this all and there is a person and just i think the video will go slightly over but just one tweet i want to read there's a massive Ron 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 ronaldo fan he tweeted if Ron ronaldo thinks i agree if ronaldo speaks i listen if ronaldo orders i obey if ronaldo has a million fans i'm one of them if ronaldo has one fan i'm that one fan if ronaldo has no fans it's because i no longer exist oh my so i mean he's going to be there i'll send him the link i'll dm him the link and bro, i'll that's just ronaldo's banner account bro that's just ronaldo's <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you guys for watching thanks. perfect bye bye